Welcome into the cockpit of A350. In a few minutes, Peter Chandler and I are going to take you flying in the aircraft. Airbus and Boeing are betting their futures on large twin-engine aircraft. The A350 is Airbus's fastest, highest flying, and largest capacity, longest range twin ever built. Look at that wing. That's the most sophisticated airfoil ever put on an Airbus. It only has about two degrees more sweep than an Airbus A330. And yet, thanks to features such as the curved winglet, the airplane cruises efficiently at 0.85 Mach, the preferred cruise speed for long-range aircraft. Rolls-Royce Trent XWB powers A350. On the A350-900, these engines develop up to 84,200 pounds of thrust. Come on aboard with us and let's see what it'll do. The first thing you notice is that the aircraft has six displays in the panel and each one of those displays is the largest ever installed in an Airbus. Also, the outboard displays called onboard information systems are completely integrated with the avionics through the keyboard and cursor control device panel down here. Optional are left and right head up displays. There's a wealth of information presented to pilots, but Airbus is a master of quiet, dark cockpit design. Only the essentials are displayed. Left and right side sticks command the fly-by-wire flight controls, but as with most other fly-by-wire aircraft, they're not interconnected to provide tactile or visual feedback of the other pilot's control inputs. Our flight plan calls for departing to loose, then climbing up into the mid-20s to evaluate some of the aircraft's advanced cockpit technologies and flight envelope protections. Starting the engines is easy. Just turn the engine start knob to start and switch on the engine master. Oh, look at this taxi camera. On the straights, it helps you keep the nose wheel right on top of the yellow stripe. And when you turn a corner, you put the inside magenta dot over the line. That keeps the mains in the center of the taxiway. There's also an airport moving map with runways and taxiways clearly labeled that helps you navigate on the ground. Runway 14 left is shown in green because we've selected it for takeoff. Our takeoff weight is 443,000 pounds, about three quarters of the maximum limit. So we'll use flex or reduced thrust to save engine wear. Using config two slats and flaps, V1 is 132, rotate is 133, and V2 is 139. Takeoff field length is 7740 feet. Engine stable at 25%. Here we go. Power set. Using 84% thrust, acceleration is moderate. And lift off. We'll accelerate to 250 knots and climb up to flight level 220 for maneuvers. Let's roll into a 45 degree angle of bank turn. Now let's do a simulated engine failure on a go around. Fly by wire neutralizes almost all the rolling and yawing. With one engine out, A350 actually is easier to control than some centerline thrust twins we've flown. Let's go back to Toulouse for landing. We'll plan our approach to runway 14 left and hand fly the aircraft to see how it handles. Our landing weight is 415,000 pounds and we'll use full slats and flaps. Approach speed is 140 and lowest selectable speed or VREF is 135.
conclusions? A350-900 has the latest technologies to help keep pilots and their passengers protected from chalk to chalk. It's also the quietest, smoothest, most comfortable, most fuel-efficient Airbus twin we've yet flown. This jetliner is going to give Boeing's best tough competition. Thanks for going with us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for a full technical report in an upcoming issue of Aviation Week and Space Technology. 